That's right, Matthew. We actually heard from those lawmakers this morning. They came together as part of a panel to update people here at the summit on what they're doing on the federal level to fight prescription drug abuse and heroin. Seven legislators from six different states sharing one goal, using the power of the federal government to win the war against opioid abuse. We need to imagine some new ideas outside the box. Imagine what can be possible when everybody is created for a stimulus of creating a solution instead of being in the way for a problem. Kentucky Congressman Hal Rogers praised Congress for recently devoting more money to fighting the drug crisis, but says additional resources will be necessary. Uh, and, and we have a slogan on the Appropriations Committee. A vision without funding is a hallucination. <laughs> Senator Ed Markey from Massachusetts told the crowd the Food and Drug Administration should establish an advisory committee for every opioid in our country. If you're going to be having a decision that gives it to children, if you're going to be uh, authorizing any new opioid, there should be experts who are giving additional information to the FDA. We just need to continue this discussion in our country. A discussion that that took center stage here at the summit and one these lawmakers hope will lead to more government action against the painkiller epidemic.